Success must be earned, deserved, respected, and appreciated. It plays by specific, non-negotiable rules. It will always require that goals be clearly identified, plans firmly in place, and deadlines consistently enforced. And if you stand a chance of making progress in the second quarter, it will be because of your answer to this question. What specific, measurable, and time-bound goals are you committed to achieve from April 1st through June 30th? And as you work to answer that question, I want you to remember that you will never be greater than the vision and the goals that guide you. If you think small, you'll get small results. Therefore, the second quarter is the time for a big, bold, audacious agenda. Hi there, my name is Gary Ryan Blair, and I've got a great message for you today that you're absolutely going to love. It's all about making huge gains in your performance and creating radical results in the second quarter. So let's start with a first quarter finished. The fact is, right now the year is 25% complete. And if you had ambitions of making $250,000 this year, then you should have, right now, $62,500 in the bag. And if you set a goal of paying down $20,000 in debt, you should be $5,000 lighter by now. So are you on track with any of your goals or resolutions? Have you surpassed your expectations? Are you even close? If you have not made as much progress as you'd like in the first quarter, then stick with me and hold on tight, as I'm about to use the balance of this message to talk frankly about your performance, as well as provide you with a prescription for starting the second quarter with a raging fire under your behind. See, there's only one reason for underperformance. The fact is, it's your own fault. Your year-to-date results aren't dependent upon your background, your company, your spouse, the economy, the latest bestseller on the self-help charts, or who's sitting in the Oval Office. Your performance and corresponding results are dependent upon one thing. You. You and your ability to deliver. And right now, you've not delivered the goods. See, it's time to shine a flashlight to your soul to acknowledge that your current strategies are simply not working and to wake up to the fact that if you continue along this line of behavior, that your future is in serious jeopardy. Your current results speak for themselves. You've had a full 90 days, which in anyone's book is more than enough time to perform, to display your talents and to show the world just how good you really are. So what can you do What specifically can you do to turn it around and to create a stellar second quarter performance? Well, the solution for turning things around are found in a simple six step process, which play off each letter in the word change. I want you to use the letters in the word change for redeeming yourself and for quickly getting back on track in the second quarter. So step number one, C, is for consequences. More specifically, it's about facing the consequences. See, no matter how you look at it, We act because of the good or bad consequences that we expect to get as a result of our actions. And if you do not wake up and smell the reality that your current performance is not worth bragging about, that the game you're playing is simply not working, and that you are the only one who could turn things around, then your future, as mentioned, is in serious jeopardy. Now you may ask why, it's very simple. Because precedent, patterns, and low performance standards have been set and reinforced, and they will be repeated if left unchanged. You must prove to yourself the severe disadvantages of not changing and the huge advantages of changing. And you've got to do it quickly. To do so, I want you to answer two questions. The first, what are the negative consequences of not changing and just maintaining the status quo? The second, what are the positive consequences of changing and how will it impact your second quarter results? Now, the next five steps, well, they provide a rock-solid blueprint for addressing the positive consequences of change and exactly what you need to do to knock it out of the park in the second quarter. So step number two is H, which stands for habit. So let's talk about the need for creating new habits. See, there's no way around this truth. Your habits determine your past, your present, and your future. And your current habits are leading you to an undesirable, undisciplined, and unprofitable future if left unchanged. And the one true path to success in the second quarter is to replace your bad habits with positive habits that move you in the direction that you want, period. So what I want you to do right now is answer two questions. What bad habits need to be broken right now? And the second, 
What good habits do you need to implement in order to become highly competitive? Now, the moral of this lesson is that old dogs can, do, and they must learn new tricks. So that brings us to step number three, which is A for attitude. So let's talk about adjusting your attitude. Now, you can moan all you want, but eventually you'll accept the reality that your results are largely an extension of your attitude. And if you do not change it quickly, you'll continue to be victimized by it. This question will lead you towards the necessary adjustment. What is the best mental attitude that I can choose in order to redeem myself and deliver better results in the second quarter? And because attitude is everything, I want you to do everything in your power to adjust yours accordingly. And the best attitude is a positive, joyful one, one that focuses on solutions and increases in personal contribution. And that brings us to step number four. N is for needs. We need to focus on needs. The part of adjusting your attitude involves focusing on what needs to get done in order to deliver quality results consistently. And to ensure a successful second quarter, here's what you need to do. You need to execute. You need to surprise and delight. You need to go the extra mile. You need to exceed expectations. You need to inspire excellence. You need to practice integrity. You need to raise standards, contribute ideas, meet deadlines. You need to be accountable, take risks, become brilliant on the basics. You need to act with a sense of urgency. You need to set a good example, honor your commitments, keep your promises, make good decisions, learn from your mistakes, and most importantly, you need to make everything that you think, say, and do count. Simply showing up, going for the motions, only doing what you want to do is one of the primary reasons why you're behind the eight ball right now. Now this point is worth repeating. You must focus on what needs to be done in order to deliver results, not on what you want to do. You're on the payroll to do what needs to be done, to delight the customer, to add value, and to drive sustained profitability. Now, step number five in our five-point plan is G for goals. That is, set big goals. Success must be earned, deserved, respected, and appreciated. It plays by specific non-negotiable rules. And it will always require that goals be clearly identified, plans in place, and deadlines consistently enforced. And if you stand a chance of making any progress in the second quarter, it will be because of your answer to this question. What specific, measurable, and time-bound goals are you committed to achieve from April 1st through June 30th? And as you work to answer that question, I want you to always remember that you will never, ever be greater than the vision and the goals that guide you. And if you think small, you will get small results. Therefore, the second quarter is the time for a big, bold, audacious agenda. Now stick around just a minute, and I'll show you how to turn those goals into reality faster than you could ever possibly imagine. Now this leads us to the last step, step six, which is E for empowerment. I want you to empower your greatness. Now you will naturally feel empowered to work for proactive change in the second quarter, when you understand the consequences of a repeat performance, when you identify and commit to a new set of habits, when you adjust your attitude, when you focus on what needs to be done in order to drive results, and when you set big, bold, audacious goals. And once you drink the Kool-Aid of that reality, you will expect the best. You will feel empowered to make big things happen in the second quarter. And you will show the world just how great and powerful you really are. See, it's not just the championship athlete or record breaker that aspires to push their limits and to become great. It's also the parent, the teacher, and the coach who wants their children and students to reach their full potential. It's the leader or entrepreneur who wants to create a culture that inspires passion and innovation. It's the artist who wants to create a true work of art that moves everyone who comes in contact with it. And it's everyone who strives to excel in their own terms to set and realize personal goals, and to achieve their own defining moment of greatness. And that's the reason, the primary reason why I created the 100 Day Challenge, the world's most powerful goal setting program for achieving radical results fast. The 100 Day Challenge is designed to inspire anyone who wants to achieve their own moment of greatness, who wants to redeem themselves in the second quarter, and who truly wants to be the best that they can possibly be. Now, to those who are overwhelmed by the prospect of what is required to reach their goals and to truly find their greatness, 
My advice is this. Be better today than you were yesterday. As each day of your life provides you with a series of endless number of opportunities to demonstrate commitment, character, focus, integrity, initiative, creativity, perseverance, and a host of other noble virtues to showcase your true greatness. So you may be asking yourself, why should I participate in the 100-Day Challenge? Well, the answer is very simple. On a global scale, there's a chronic disconnect between goal formulation and goal execution. The goals and resolutions that companies and people set for themselves at the very beginning of the year often bear little resemblance to the results they achieve right now. And the root cause of this disconnect is that most of us do not have a proven and sustainable execution process in place. The 100-Day Challenge is the ideal solution as it's all about strategy execution and satisfying the need for more, better, and faster results in a highly competitive world. And through this revolutionary extreme performance acceleration program, you will learn the following. How to transform your life by implementing proven execution strategies. How to execute flawlessly and to enjoy greater levels of productivity. How to eliminate performance and time draining activities. And how to get more done in the next 100 days than most people do over the course of 10 years. A success as we all know was a journey, a maze of obstacles, options and opportunities, along with failure, ambiguity and do-overs. The success that you enjoy in the second quarter depends upon many things, but mostly it depends on you and your ability to execute until each goal is achieved. And that is why the one decision that you must make today, right now, is to say yes, I'm ready for a challenge, and to sign up for the 100-day challenge right now.